Now watch what happens as we get into January. The euro does see this really cool down for much of the states as we push through January. And this would be interesting again, because we know January 20th around that time is typically the coolest or the coldest time of year for the Northern Hemisphere. And if we were to see this well below average trend near the end of January, this would be extremely, extremely cold. This is the type of setup where you can get very, very far Southern snow because you can have those freezing temperatures easily touching the Gulf. If you want snow in the South, you're definitely rooting for below average temperatures in that time frame, second to fourth week of January again, because that's just what gives you the best opportunity. The Canadian model recently has had a pretty good track record with its monthly and seasonal outlooks. This is what it sees for January. So a return to this La Nina look. Now we may be transitioning into a neutral as we get into February, March, but definitely a La Nina look from the Canadian cold air moving back into the States. So just something to pay attention to. Another thing I wanted to point out is there's typically a kind of temperature lagging event with Europe and America. Europe sees a big cool down five to 10 days later, America sees a big cool down. Now there's a bunch of different ways to explain why this phenomenon occurs, but it's really just in the Northern hemisphere, your weather moves from the West to East. And typically the way these troughs propagate around the Arctic, if Europe gets warm, it, that warmth or that ridge five to 10 days later, a lot of times makes it into the States or the trough makes its way around into the States. Now you could say, okay, well, why do we look at Europe though? And not East Asia, because you know, that would probably make its way over to the States in a day or two. It's much closer than going around the entire Arctic in the Northern hemisphere. Well, Europe has a similar setup to the States where it has a big ocean out to its West and it handles these ridges and troughing slightly similar to the States. Now it doesn't have a big land mass to its North, but again, because of its setup, it's a good gauge for the States. So I want you to see what's happening here as we move forward in time and we get to really around Christmas, it starts to get pretty cold in Europe. Let's move five days ahead, six days ahead and look what happens in the States. Suddenly now you get a big break of cold air down into the States. So we'll see what happens. Europe is looking to see a pretty big cool down heading into January. And again, a lot of times we see that lagging effect into the States and it looks like we may. 